What is a youth impetuous Shakespeare was, I'm very shy, so bear with me. Um, but Shakespeare was uh, understandable to most people. Frankl cut out a lot of monologues, which upset the English a lot. But he did it because he said, I want young people to just feel the passion and feel the love. And, and so he, he was justified in a way. Yeah, and it was a perfect moment in time. It was a, it's a classic, beautiful love story. It's a great film to take someone out on a date to. <laughs> that hasn't changed. That's or go alone. <laughs> so how did it come about the auditioning process? And I, I understand that, that they auditioned like 800 they, girls? 800 girls in London alone. Franco was looking up. But he said, the moment you walked in, I said, that's my Juliet. Now let's see if she can act. <laughs> <laughs> now weren't they looking for blondes with blue, blue eyes? No, that's what I thought they should be looking at. He saw some blondes, but he said, he walked in one day and I used to wear my hair always on the side and he parted it in the middle. I said, that's why. I said, I look ridiculous with my hair in the middle. I was 15. And he said, he said, well, what do you, how do you see Juliet? And I said, oh, long, long hair, and blue eyes, and very romantic and very, he said, oh, bitch, you know nothing. <laughs> that was the beginning. It's funny because everyone thought I was so madly in love with Leonard when we shot that film, but actually I had a big crush on Franco. <laughs> and who did Franco have a crush on? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> So, and, and this supposedly was overdubbed. And not, it, the whole thing was dubbed. In yeah. fact, when we were dubbing Romeo and Juliet, Fellini was in the room next door dubbing uh, Satyricon. <laughs> and I didn't know who he was, you know, but I'd met Martin Potter in New York when he was doing hair. And I'd introduced him to uh, somebody else who introduced him to Fellini. But I didn't know who Fellini was, and Franco was such a bully, and he was so mean and such a perfectionist, that I said, I don't like you, I'm going to go talk to my friend. So I'd disappear, and I'd go sit on Fellini's lap and watch him doing this film, and then he did drawings of me, and, and I didn't know him. One day, in walks Franco, and he said, what are you doing here? I said, this is my friend, I come and see him every day. And he said, this is Frederico Fellini. <laughs> I said, is it real? I said, well, he's just, and I went to dinner with him and his wife, Julieta Massina, who's an incredible actress. <laughs> the news. Yeah, that was the first time a nude scene had been done with people as young as we were. It is so beautiful yes. to this day. It I mean, really it needed that. But you know, right up until the end, Frank was, I'd say, Frank, do I really have to be naked? And I'd no, darling, of course you don't have to. But then the morning of that we actually sh we shot it towards the end of the film, and by then we'd all become like a big family. And, and Mauro, um, the, the, the makeup gentleman, came to my dressing room that day. I wasn't sent down to makeup. And he said, Franco wants me to make you up from head to toe. And I said, what do you mean head to toe? And he said, he said, well, he wants, you know, he just wants no marks, no lines, nothing. And I said, but I'm wearing a long robe, a long uh, nightdress. And he said, well, but we should do it just to keep him happy. And then I said, I've got flesh-colored underwear on, you know. <laughs> so we made me up, and then we got on the set, and it was done very tastefully. And by then, they all knew how young we were. So the crew, when they didn't, they, they pinned the microphone up to the bed, and, and when they didn't have to really do something, all the, these hardened grips and incredible people would turn with their backs to us and look in the other direction. Of course, Leonard was an exhibitionist. He just walked around there. <laughs> I was very shy. Well, he had a lot to exhibit. <laughs> I mean, I wish he was here. He'd love that. People said that you were Franco Zeparelli's daughter. Impossible. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Next question. 
they oh, also, he's up for Frank Boys. They also Boys. said, and, and this is kind of a little embarrassing, but they said that they had to stop you from eating pasta on the set. Now, was that they true? stopped me from eating everything. I was very compulsive. And, I, and Franco, and by the time we did the bedroom scene as well, it was really embarrassing because Franco's nickname for me was Boobazamina. <laughs> because I was like a 38, and those costumes were designed to tie me down, so all you could see was the top. And you eat but that was my nickname, you know, so by the time we did the Scene, I'd lost all my shyness in that area. <laughs> yeah. And you got to meet um, Prince Charles, isn't that I did, true? yes. He was Talk lovely. a little bit about that. He was lovely. I mean, he had asked to be seated next to me because it was a royal command performance. You know, and of course, Franco said, Oh my God, we've got to go to Capucci and make your gown. And because they were always trying to get me to lose weight, and I just I didn't want to diet. You know, I was a young girl and I loved to eat in abundance. You know, so he had Capucci design this gown that was on. Oh, Prince Charles had asked to be seated next to me, and of course, Frank was delighted. You know, was, and uh, so sweet, and they'd made these beautiful satin slippers for me, and they were too. I've never told anyone. They, they, they made these satin slippers for me, and they were they were too tight. My feet were killing me. It had been hours and hours. And I was sitting next to Prince Charles, and, and I said, my feet hurt so bad. And he said, take your shoes off, take your feet off. So I had my feet up on his legs. Oh, my God. <laughs> really sweet. And then he invited me to go to Buckingham Palace, but I wasn't interested. <laughs> You're going to be the queen, then, eh? Never. That's what Franco said. Okay, I'll be the queen. And I said, Franco. no, I leave that to you, Franco. Franco. <laughs>